Alrighty, welcome to another Tech Dive Movie Studio 14 Platinum tutorial. Uh, Vegas is my favorite editing software and I love to tell you about it. We do any kind of computer enthusiast videos, a lot about gaming and gaming builds as well. Uh, note to the subscribers, you see this Zotac here, you might remember this from, uh, let's get it to light up, there we go. Uh, you might remember it from one of our previous reviews, we're about to get a TI in the mail. Not just any TI, a 1080 TI. So we're pretty excited about that and uh, that was a little leak of what's coming in the future. Uh, today though is a tutorial day and if you have any tutorial uh, ideas or questions uh, also leave a comment below and let me know and I'll see what I can do for you. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to speed up video in Vegas and I want to talk about it in two ways. One, how to speed it up for your project and two, how to speed it up for your editing workflow. So for editing, real quick, so sometimes you want to speed up a video because you want it to render out faster or you render out slower than it was originally shot, uh, and there's a way to do that, but sometimes you're just trying to scrub through footage. So what scrubbing is, there's a little scrub wheel down here uh, in the software that is called rate. You can change the rate by just sliding this thing up and scrubbing through the video or sliding it down and reversing through the video. Um, but sometimes you don't want to scrub. Sometimes you want to watch the whole things very quickly or very slowly. For example, if I'm doing a transition, sometimes I want to see the exact frame it's cutting on and the exact uh, way the transition is rolling into the other transition. So I slow it down so I can my brain can process the frames a little better. Or I can speed up the rate to watch maybe an hour of footage. And if I'm just looking for some big events to... Uh, edit in and out. I don't need to see every second of it. I just need to intelligibly watch it faster so I can speed it up. So like right now I have it three times the rate. You watch it's going faster. Stuttering a little bit because uh, it's 4K video and my computer's not too happy with me watching it at three times the rate. Or you can slow it down by moving this rate here to, as you see the numbers, this is below one so now it will be going at ha about half speed. There we go. So that is how you change the rate for your editing workflow. But if you're looking for how to speed up and slow down a video for your final project, okay, real quick. So sometimes you have trouble getting this thing back to one. Uh, easiest way I found to fix that. If you slide this slider over, it gives you a little more exact play. There you go. Now I'm back to rate of one. And one is what you want when you're trying to watch it at normal speed. Uh, no matter what this is set at when you render out your video, uh, this is what you will watch it at while you're editing. Your video will render out at the same speed that it is the timeline sets it is. So let's say I have this at zero and this is at a minute and 15 seconds. Uh, then this is a minute and 15 seconds of video. But what if we wanted it to go faster? So the same amount of video, just compressed to be faster. Well, cool thing about Vegas is you can just grab the video by the corner and fade it, or you can grab it by the side and cut it down. But this is just cutting off the end of the video. Let's see, I'll move it right to a minute 15 seconds. If I want this thing to be faster and only a minute long, all you have to do is hit Control, and suddenly this trim turns into a time stretch. And you can see the toggle here. So hold down control and you can slide it, f make it tinier, and now it's only a minute long and it's faster. I'm going to compress the quality a little bit so you can see the effect. See it's scrolling a little faster. Uh, it's a little difficult there. You see you kind of swinging around. This video I'm um, gently panning, so this panning is now frantic panning because I've sped it up. Uh, I'm going to control Z a couple times, get it back to normal. Now this is what it looks like at normal speed. I can change the compression a little bit so you can see the actual card there. See that's less frantic. It is me messing up on the tripod, but it's not quite as fast as I had it. You can also slow down the video by holding control and stretching it. So now I have the same footage playing over a minute and 30 seconds. and. There we go. My frantic pan, uh, my frantic uh, panning right there is just a little less frantic. Uh, still not very fun to watch, but uh, just some B-roll from our Zotac review. If you have any more uh, Vegas tutorials ideas, remember comment in the comment section below. 
and let me know about them and I'll see what I can do. Uh, also, another reminder, we have a 1080 Ti in the mail and we're excited about reviewing it. And like if this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one or any video having to do with computer enthusiast stuff and we'll see what we can do for you. Thanks for watching. This is Tech Dive.